Hi everyone, Pastor Scott here. It is time for our Tuesday devotion, December 19th. We've been walking through the Bible and doing summaries of each book together uh, during the last year, and we're getting closer and closer to finishing this uh, journey together. Uh, this week, the book of Ephesians, it deals with topics at the very core of what it means to be a Christian, both in faith and practice, regardless of any real particular problem in uh, the church. And Paul, who wrote this letter, divides the letter of Ephesians into two clear segments, applying the truths of the first part to the lifestyle and actions in the second. And so Paul spends the first few chapters of the letter discussing God's creation of a holy communion, really, by his gift of grace and the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the members of the church have been chosen by God through the work of Christ, adopted as sons and daughters, and brought near to the Father through faith in the Son. And all people with this faith, with no matter what the background we are from, we were all dead in our transgressions and sins, but have been made alive because of the person and the work of Jesus Christ. Paul's not responding to any particular theological or moral problems here. He just wanted to protect against future problems by encouraging the Ephesians to mature in their faith. And so he lays out the theological truths in the first half of the book and makes the purpose clear uh, in Ephesians 4.1. He expects that the church would walk in accordance with its calling. And as a result of those realities, uh, the practices that follow in the last part of the book should uh, be evident in their relationships with the, those in the church, at their, in their homes, and in the world. So how we apply this when we read through the book of Ephesians, that there's a lot of really a wide range of moral, ethical behaviors to really look at and to live up to uh, because of our heavenly calling. And as we continue in our faith from day to day, you know, year to year, uh, the temptation is to get comfortable with what we believe in. But Paul presents the gift of life in Christ and the benefits that we receive so clearly that we need to ask ourselves every single day, does my life reflect what it really should be like in Christ and never, ever get complacent with that. So hope you enjoy reading the book of Ephesians along with me this week. And just a reminder on this week, uh, heading into Christmas, uh, we do not have our Thursday night programs. We're taking this Thursday off, but Sunday morning is our Christmas Eve service at 1030 in the morning. So I hope to see everyone there. Invite your friends to be there for Christmas Eve at 1030 a.m. here at church. And we hope to see you then. Have a blessed week. Okay, everyone. God bless.